So basically the rhythm and the groove, regardless if you're a part of a stereotypical rhythm section, beatbox bass, everyone is feeling the same thing. Every single performer needs to be locked in to feeling the same thing. You ever watch your conductors? If, you, if your groups have conductors, you ever watch them where their hands are going and they're doing a simple thing, but then starts, something starts to happen in a performance, right? And their eyes are like, and their head starts doing something else. And, it's, and, and, and in sometimes, like say there's their hair that swishes forward, it's a little late, but for some reason that works too, right? The simple idea that we're going to talk about today is how regardless if you're a part of the stereotypical rhythm section, everyone needs to be locked into the groove. If you're performing, if you watch Michael Jackson or you listen to James Brown or anything like that, these, these guys who do very rhythmic stuff, <coughs> the, the interesting part is where the rhythm, the drum beat isn't. The James Brown quote, which I'm paraphrasing, is it's in the holes, it's in the gaps. And how do you do that? Because you're doing it no matter whether you're consciously aware of it or not. It's because everyone has an inner metronome going. And as a drummer, I can't, if you watch a guy sitting at a drum kit, a drummer drummer, they're sitting there, they're doing the same thing. They're doing the counterweight. Uh, and, uh, and. They're leaning in, they might be doing it just a little bit. What if it's jazz, they might be doing this. It's the same thing. If you're standing like this, singing something rhythmic, good luck to you. It's not going to happen. Because you're using your brain with no connection to physicality. Rhythm is a physical thing. In the little moments when you're all on the same page and every word, every emphasis, and what am I singing? Once you take care of that unison, that togetherness, that energy of the moment, then you can start fiddling with small things. It's a very funky topic when we are talking about rhythm and groove and having that have a consistent job when you're a vocalist because it doesn't compute half of the time. And really what we're talking about is a feel. All of this stuff eventually, if you're keeping in mind, is just secondary. And it really comes down to not performing but just going out and having a great time. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you can, if you can engage in the moments, right. moment to moment to moment, the minute you, we were talking about downstairs, where if you're singing and somebody screams in the back of the house, what happens? You get out of the moment and probably the choir just sort of falls apart and the conductor's like, if you can live in that moment, you would be able to pick it right up again, moment to moment. Here, get ready to scream. <laughs> Cecilia, you're breaking. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> what is happening? I'm still going. I can pick it up. Cecilia. And there's going to be a hole. We're not talking about performing and making it so that you're robots and not being affected yeah. by what's around you. But if you're feeling this groove inside, we can start and stop and start over and be interrupted and never miss the pronunciation of the groove itself. And this is valuable even for ballads. Yes, we're talking about up-tempo, but if you have a really slow thing, what can happen to that? It can become really dull. Oh, we're just laughing to it. There's always a pulse somewhere. There is a natural tendency with the smaller groups to have a leader. And the real answer to that question is to have everyone on the same page. It doesn't matter who gets there first. But it's really like, like Jeff is a human metronome. He's not going to fall off this thing. But well, if someone starts speeding up and they're in the moment of the whole especially thing. Especially the lead singer. <laughs> there's, a, there's a give and take. There's an understanding right. of like, okay, well, bottom line, this is acapella and it's organic. And if it shifts a little bit, it shifts a little bit. Yeah. And, and, but, and often you have to come to an understanding. Rockapella, you know, we've been around a long time and they had no beatboxer originally. It was four guys sort of stomping and emphasizing. And then, you know, back, back in the early 90s, it was, a, it was a new thing to have a full-time guy. So I come into this situation, and they're used to kind of leading the rhythm a different way. It doesn't mean I took over. It means that we had to come to an understanding. Everybody listening to everybody and not excluding the drummer or not excluding the lead. And, you know, any drummer physical 
manual drummer or beatboxer will tell you, you're watching, ideally you're watching your lead singer stomp out what they want to do at the beginning. But sometimes adrenaline takes over, as you implied, I think. Adrenaline can make you think in the excitement of the show that the tempo is something that it really shouldn't be. So in, in my case, it's my job to think about, okay, is, is he pushing that a little bit? Or am I falling asleep? It is that. <laughs> it's really a constant, constant thinking, thinking fine tune. It's, it's almost like, like being at a soundboard, but only when it comes to groove. And it's a give and take and push and pull. But as long as you always end up in those shifts with that yeah, constant, everybody's constant feel of shifting together, like more times than not, it's, well, this isn't how we practiced it, or this is but let's go. a funky moment. <laughs> But we all made the Mitch shift Mitch forgets together. the lyric. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it on you met Mitch before. Um, one of our guys, every now and then, this doesn't happen often, thank God, but uh, somebody will drop a line. <laughs> or, you know, they'll, they'll just go off into some spatial, spatial thing where like, okay, but everybody's thinking, just what we were talking about before, that's still going. It's still going, what can we do? And the music exists in that very moment. And what, do you, what you do depends on your rehearsing and your musicality and you fall back on that framework, you're still there, and we can pick it up and make something.